Hello people, how you are doing? Welcome back to Living Right Channel. If this is your first time coming across my YouTube channel, you're very welcome. Feel free to join the family and press notification bell. So whenever I put a new video here, you'll be the first to be notified. Subscribe to my channel and help me to share. Today, I come across this one and I decide to bring it here. That the G.O. or Papa... The, one, the founder of uh, Christ Living Hope Church in Anambra, they just caught him with cocaine. Hey, I should have used that word. They just caught him with white substance, okay? So, <laughs> it's so terrible. When they interview him, he said he's taken into Kenya and he has three days, uh, three weeks program in Kenya. If he wants to sell it or he wants to use it for himself, I don't know. But what will break my heart is that why are these things happening to the body of Christ? If you want to be a pastor, be a pastor. If you want to be a businessman, be a businessman. Is that loud? Why dragging the body of Christ to it? Nowadays, if you want to preach to people, they'll just say, I bear, carry your own good aside. It's Christianity that is bringing problems to the world today. And these things keep happening. Okay, now you've done this thing. Your family will come across it on Facebook. They will come across it on the internet. Come across it on, a, on sorry, media and the maybe TV station. How will you feel? Something you know will bring shame and disgrace to you. Why involve yourself to it? There are legit business everywhere. God, there are legit business everywhere. Everybody want to make fast money. As handsome as this man, just imagine being disgraced in Monitala Mohammed Airport. For what? For how much? God still blesses people. God is still doing miracles in the life of people. When I come across this video, I wasn't happy at all. Yes, because the way this thing is bringing shame and disgrace to the uh, body of Christ is so painful. You see people, they want to do something. They want to be a pastor. You want to sell clothes. You want to be a... No, they, everybody have their own offices. If you want God to use you, dedicate time, prayer and fasting. Study the word. The spirit will come. The spirit will descend. You don't need all these things. Even if you start a church and you don't have member, money is not coming, give pray to God. Hagar prayed to God and God answered her prayers. Not to talk of we, that is the generation, the, the new generation. How will God not answer our prayers? All these things are really annoying and so frustrating for me, I swear. You know, there are genuine pastors, but you see most of these pastors around are the ones bringing pains to the body of Christ. Nobody wants to listen to the gospel anymore because of things like this. So what makes you think they will not catch you? What makes you think you will not be caught? No matter how spiritual you are. Bible says when you break an edge, serpent will bite. There are things you ought to do. There are things you are not supposed to do. Before tomorrow, and this thing will circulate the whole media. Because why? He's a man of God. So that is why everybody has to be careful. It's not by force to serve this God. If you're willing to do, do. If you're not, forget it. And do what pleases you, what makes you happy. This should not be seen in the body of Christ at all. It's so painful. I come across it and I said I won't bring it here and tell you guys. This is not, it's happening. It's in a monitor airport. Not up to one hour I come across it and I decide to bring it and share it here. Please guys, let's be careful, okay? Let's be careful because God is still blessing people. Miracles are still taking place in the house of God. Miracles are still taking place in the life of people. He said, when you call upon me, he said, him, God, will answer you from heaven. So I don't know why a pastor will carry, coke, uh, carry this white substance and uh, think he, he will not be caught. I don't understand. I don't get it. Okay, I don't want the video to be too long. I don't like talking more about pastors, but this is so annoying. This is so frustrating for me, and I decide to talk about it. So, guys, the giveaways still continue March 30th, but remember, it's going to be a live streaming. It's going to be live streaming, guys, okay? So don't miss out.